What is going on with the NBA right now? I don't know! I don't even know where to start. For all y'all who don't know, which I'm sure by now you guys already know, DeMarcus Boogie Cousins has signed with the Los Angeles Lakers. You mean the Warriors. Oh, oh man. <laughs> I, I was trying to fantasize, man. You know, he was supposed to come to LA, but he was supposed to where did he end up going to? He went to the Golden State Warriors. That means that, Super is, team. that is another top 10 player in the NBA. Of course, you know, Boogie's coming off an Achilles injury, and statistically, he, you know, unlikely to return to the exact level that he was at, unfortunately. But he's still an all-star player. Still an all-star player. He, he, he might have went from, like, first team all-NBA to, like, second team all-NBA or something. But uh, they got another top 10 player on the Warriors. An embarrassment of riches it is on the Golden State Warriors. Okay, so the deal was it's a one-year $5.3 million, which Boogie actually gave up. You know, he could actually get $30 million a year, but reasoning behind this, what do you think? Why did he choose the Warriors? First of all, I don't think anybody saw this. I think a lot of people saw him going to the Lakers on a one year for $10 million. Because you know he's coming off the Achilles, so of course there's some concerns. Nobody's going to give him like a five-year Supermax. Mm -hmm. But I don't think I saw him going to the Warriors for $5 million. I mean, can, I, who, I, I, who can you get nowadays for $5 million? I'm not surprised that uh, about the whole Warriors thing because there were some like jokingly rumors that he wasn't going to go to the Warriors, you know, so that's like not complete big surprise there. But for $5 million is a surprise. Yeah, because he wants to keep them, like, give them flexibility to sign even more players. True. It's like either his Achilles injury is really not that good, like, you know, the recovery and, like, his, you know, his... Maybe I should settle half a season. Yeah, I know. Maybe that's why they're taking such a low cut on it. But damn, would you five say, mil for would DeMarcus you say, Cousins. Would you bro. say this is the even, biggest? Julius Randle even got nine, ten million a year signing would, with the the Pelicans. Basically, you know, the Pelicans replaced Boogie with Julius Randle. Would you say that this is the biggest pay cut you've ever seen in the NBA? Oh, Somebody for sure, by far. You, you went from projected thirty million a year to five million a year. You know what I was figuring in my head? He figures, you know what? I'll be like a contributor, probably fourth option on the team. I'll win my championship, and then I'll probably go somewhere else. So at least I got the championship, like, like in my belt. I got it over with. Yeah. You know? I feel like, all right, this this could be a theory. As good as Golden State is, they have a lot of fun winning. Obviously, winning games, winning championships, it's like a lot of fun. It's like a party every day. Right. So Boogie's that type of player or person who, who like to party. He so does. maybe he wants to go to the team who has a lot of fun winning yeah. on and off the court. Hey, hey, he don't have to practice that hard because what a, if he practices half hard, still going to get the job done. Like if he practices at 50%, plays at 80%, they're still going to win the championship. True, true. Speaking of his contributions, how do you think Boogie's going to do in the Warriors like now? Is he going to do good? Is he going to do bad? Is he going to make the Warriors worse? Which I mean, I don't think that's possible, but I mean, I don't know. I think for me, it's just, chemistry. I think he's just, it's for sure he's gonna be in the starting lineup. Um, you know, when he comes back from injury, I feel like he'll score more than Draymond. And to me, the next question is, how much is he gonna take away from like a Clay? You yeah, know, I mean, I mean just, a Clay or a Steph? Because you already know KD kind of like is just like an add-on ultra score. But like, where does he really fit in the system? Even though he, he's a stretch five, I mean, he could pull up. And just thinking about that starting lineup is just mind blowing. You got. DeMarcus at the five, Draymond at the four, KD, Clay, and Steph. That's already an all-star team. You probably beat an all-star. Could beat the all-star team. For sure. <laughs> to be honest, I think Boogie is actually a really good team player if he's coached correctly. Yeah. And, um, you know, I think, you know, because the Warriors are so good, the system is so good, he's able to adapt to, you know, whatever they need him to do. I mean, come on now. They probably only need they him. They made JaVale him. McGee a productive player probably, on the team. Would you say they only need like 15 and 12 from Boogie? Yeah, 15 and 12, that would be really yeah. solid. 15, 12, and two? To what, to assist? Two, two blocks. Two block, oh, two blocks, yeah, two blocks. Yeah, if they make him play good defense. I mean, if you can play 15, 12, and two, I mean. That's and then, really uh, solid. And they give him what, like, what, like a 1.5 threes a game? 1.5 threes? Nah, I bet you his uh, three point, you know, shooting is gonna go up. He's gonna shoot a lot of threes. I mean, like, he likes attempts, shooting threes. I know, I know Boogie likes taking them. Is the NBA ruined? All yes right. or no? This is facts right here, right? It didn't ruin the NBA. Do you know why? Because the NBA was already ruined when KD oh. already went to the Warriors, man. Did it make it but now it's further just, ruined? It's just like, oh my God, it's just out of this world now. Like, why even watch NBA anymore, right? It's like, okay, all right. For this, Warriors always probably the favorite to win 2019 NBA Championship. Now it's, it's, it's not even debatable. It's rap. For five mil, one year, Boogie, Boogie Cousins, who, you know, pre-injury is 
maybe the top three centers in the league, if not the best, some people say. Yeah. I mean, I actually thought he was um, at his peak more talented than AD. Okay. But not as effective as AD. Because yeah. I thought AD had a better attitude. Yeah, it's all in the attitude, Cause it, you know, the mindset. It's not just talent and skill. You know, there's a lot of intangibles in the NBA. You can't really judge it. It's funny that Boogie went to the Warriors because Boogie actually hate the Warriors. Yeah, he, there's he, a clip. Play he, that clip. There's <laughs> there's the time where he fought them, you know, they got in a big old scuffle. Oh, the him time where, KD. where he, he threw the, the two middle fingers and he said, F the Warriors, you know, in the hallway. I just saw Kevin Durant's, uh, you know, IG story. It was just like, you know, a sneak peek of, you know, Boogie into the Warriors. Now it's like, now they're best buddies and stuff. Now it's just like, yo, man. I mean, the NBA or even just players can really change on you. Uh, going back to our last video when we talked about LeBron, you said that, you know, loyalty is. No, forever gone. It's not you know in the NBA anymore. Not in like sports at all, especially in the NBA. It's just there's like, no, there's no forever friends. There's no more forever enemies. Nah, nothing's yeah, forever yeah. anymore. Damn man. Only diamonds. Diamonds, diamonds are, are forever. forever. I mean, how well do you think you do? I said 15 and 12 and two. I, I think that's an ideal situation. Mm -hmm. What do you think? What do you think the stat line is? I said maybe, maybe realistically, let me temper my. Expectation 14, 8, and 1.5. 14, 8, and 1.5? I mean, you changed it up from 15, 12, and 2? Yeah, because I said that was an ideal situation. Mm, okay. But you know how often does it play out ideal, you know? Okay, if you say 14, 8, and 1.5, you're going to get 13, 7, and like 1.5. Okay. I mean, it's not too far off of you, obviously, but like, just give it. I don't think it's... He's, gonna be great you know with this whole Achilles because Achilles is a big deal so right? really serious injury for, especially, really serious for big injury, guys. Especially, yeah, especially big guys so I mean and plus I only say that because they probably won't even use him as much right like he's not the goal his usage guy. rate is not gonna, yeah, be, he's not gonna be the goal anywhere guy. close to earlier in his career right so I mean you got Draymond getting boards and stuff like that so it's like I think you know 13-7 around there is probably pretty solid for him it's funny how uh, uh when DeMarcus played with Team USA when he played with uh, Clay instead he said he was a third splash brother oh yeah <laughs> Who are you, Demarcus? The third splash, brother. They don't get that, they don't get that on camera, right? Uh, Warriors finally got his third splash, brother. Oh man, they got the splash triplets now. So, well, I mean, KD is already a oh. splash boy, whatever you call it, <laughs> money splasher. Is the NBA still going to be worth watching this upcoming season? And does any team even have a chance? After the boogie signing, I would say no. I'd say the best chance, Boston Celtics fan. Gordon Hayward comes back healthy. Kyrie comes back healthy. They got a squad going on over there. And shoot, you know what? I think Kawhi needs to go to Boston now. Okay. So if Kawhi goes to Boston, they have a team there versus the super team of the East versus the super team of the West. They're pretty much you're only going to be watching like at most four teams in the NBA out of the uh, 30. Four. If your team doesn't have four all-stars nowadays, it used to be three. Remember LeBron and Celtics? Mm -hmm. They hit it with the big three. Mm -hmm. Ginobili was a borderline all-star, you know, with the Spurs, with TP, Duncan. Mm -hmm. It used to be three at least all-star or fringe all-star level players. Now it's starting to look like in the NBA you need four. At least four. <laughs> some teams might even have five, obviously, the Warriors, but, you know. NBA is, to some extent, you know, with limitations, a free market, just like capitalism is a free market. And in capitalism, you know, one of the basic economic principles of capitalism is anybody who has an advantage is fully within their right to keep exposing that advantage to gain more advantages. Yeah. It's, like, it's basically saying they are the 1% of the population of, of wealthy people or like, you know, the wealthiest people in yeah. the whole world. They just keep getting richer and richer yeah. because they, they understand the, how to get more richer. Once you're rich, you already know how to get richer. Yeah. So, yeah. so all right, last question now. Envision a scenario where the Warriors don't win the championship. Number one thing, probably injuries or DeMarcus Cousins does something really stupid, ruins the whole you know, punches. Team, right, franchise. How about this? They get he get mad at Draymond in the practice and punch Draymond. Yeah. Draymond, you know, Boogie got a big fist. Yeah. Draymond got a concussion. Or this could be kind of crazy. I mean, Boogie messes with like the players, you know, significant other or something <laughs> like that. You know, I don't know, man. Something crazy has to happen. Man, I was more envisioning a scenario with Kawhi, LeBron. That too, yeah. And maybe basically getting another forming another super team. Yeah. Forming another super team. But then that, like, what's the point of watching all the rest of the NBA games when it's just gonna be Team One versus Team Two, Team A versus dog, Team B? Dog, some teams don't even have one fringe All Star, let alone five plus 
a former uh, Finals MVP coming off the bench in Iguodala. For real, bro. Former All Star as well. They don't, even, they don't even got a spot for Iggy anymore. Iggy got kicked out of the death lineup, bro. Oh man. In the comment section below, make sure you let us know one, why do you think Boogie's cousin signed? Number two, what do you think his stats will be this season? And number three, do you think there are gonna be any scenarios where the Warriors do not win? I'm looking forward to the answers for this one because people are gonna have to get creative. Man, oh, man, blow it up, man. I'm gonna read all those comments and heart yo, all the like yo, the best I'm, ones. I, I'm, get, I'm gonna send an email to Adam Silver right now. All right, man, I guess that's a wrap. Nelson from Hoopin' Live, David Fung from Fun Brothers. We out, NBA.